Uh, well, now uh, we are going to go to this Mixamo. As uh, you might already be knowing, uh, we have all these animations. Okay, I selected this character. Uh, you can select any other. It's up to you. I mean, uh, not everybody would work perfectly. But okay, if you select this one, for example, uh, that I selected, this Katsujin, uh, this should work perfectly. Okay. So let's download this. Uh, important with skin. Uh, no one or uniform. No one is fine. Okay. Let's download that. Another thing we are going to do is, uh, well, if you haven't done that, prepare the project using the coffee table file. I'm going to open this. And here you you might remember already we have a project already with some assets with two characters. If we play just to have a look to all this uh, environment set up. I expect you to have something a little more developed. Another thing we are going to do is duplicate the uh, Unreal uh, skeleton so we don't mess with the character blueprint import uh, these uh, assets that we have downloaded from Mixamo so this is uh, the one I want to import uh, you can drag it literally Okay, important to import the animations, of course. Uh, convert the scene. And we are importing already uh, the FVX with the animation and the mass and all this. It will take a while maybe to compile the shaders because it's a lot of information. Okay, almost there. Yeah. Good. So uh, now we open the mesh, we see sometimes this happens and this is uh, not importing properly there. So what we have to do is just change this to mask, this blend mode to mask. Okay, and to apply or to save uh, the material. Okay, it will take a while as well to close sometimes. Now it seems to be uh, working well, the material. So we, we're going to close this. And now just, just to check, uh, well, I'm going to save all first. Um, we have here the materials and the mesh. Okay, also the animations. So for example, this is the animation we want to import. Okay, yes. Uh, Drag it to see the, the colors were working well. So now uh, we are going to have a look at the, at the mess. Okay, very important to select the human rig. Okay, should do the same with the, with the other. I'm going to close it. Okay, also here we are going to select Yomarik. Uh, okay, now what we are going to 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 see is that uh, it is uh, not yet mapped, so these names are not really matching the names of the skeleton that is working with Unreal. Here in the presentation, in the PowerPoint, you have um, a little note about this correspondence okay 
Uh, here is the original source, the, the documentation from Unreal. But I already introduced these uh, screenshots in the PowerPoint to make it easier for you. This process is a little annoying. It takes a lot of time. Uh, first, uh, it starts with manipulating the, the rig. Okay, in order to, we, we just want to, the mannequin to adopt the T position. Okay, so we need to uh, correct that. Okay, in relation to the, the angle of the shoulders uh, and also the, the arm, forearm uh, angle as well. Just a couple of clicks. Okay, very important. Modify the pose and use current pose. This uh, in order to be safe, okay? So hide and view, you can check. This is, this is now matching the position of the new model. In relation to this, uh, the, the rig, uh, we can either do it uh, on our own, okay, changing one uh, after another, or we can maybe import uh, uh, this bone map uh, settings. Okay, in this case, I created bone, bone map settings with the name of Mixamo. Okay, so you can copy can paste it here in contents so in Mixamo folder. Yeah, here we are. So with that, uh, it should be easier for us because yeah, we just have to load it and have the structure already get. Okay. So if you see everything is, is working all right, the only thing we need to do is to retarget. Uh, one skeleton to another, okay, and that's it. And now what we should do is uh, uh, export the animations from the other skeleton, from the new one, to the old one, okay, and that is here with retarget and assets, okay, this is another different process, okay have copied successfully that. So now uh, that animation should be part of the of the collection of animations that that asset can adopt. Let's check it. Okay, here you are. I have changed that. And uh, we are going to do the same for the other. Just as an example of how this works. Okay, voilà.